do you have people working in a lab trying to get scientific information and you don't even know how to use the product? I hope old girl doesn't get in trouble. Oh man, is this gonna be a different video. What is going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. Let's put that on record. I have no idea why that dog is in the scene. Hold on a second. There he goes. All right. What's up, everybody? Jay Ace here. Today, this is going to be probably the first time you are ever going to see this. I don't know if I could have asked for better content than what I'm about ready to show you. I may have got you on the clickbait, but don't worry. This is not clickbait. This is literally vaping gold is what you're about ready to be presented with. Here's the deal. I'm sitting here playing my game, doing my little hoozy jam it, just, just doing whatever, not really, you know, doing anything vape related. And then a lady comes in. Now, because we're in Edison, New Brunswick is right around the corner, and they'll they'll come in every now and then. They've done the test where they left the little things on um, on the wall and well, just little things all over the place to test vaping and air. And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Rutgers is very much against vaping as a whole, as a whole. So anyway, someone comes in and they're like, listen, I got this product that is not working. Can you help me? Because we're doing a test on it. So Brie looks at me and I look at her, I said, uh. it was kind of like she did like a little innuendo, like turn around and I, I said, oh, I got this. So I stood up and then I proceeded to have a conversation with her. Now, I'm going to show you the video. I'm going to show you the audio. Because we're in New Jersey and I have two signs that are visible right at the front door here and right over there, showing you that all audio and video is publicly available. It is all recorded. This is not being used for legal precedence, but I figured you'd want to hear this. So I'm, I'm going to kind of give you a little TLDR, but I do suggest you listen to the rest of this damn video. Uh, because it is, I'm not even going to look at the phone because that is not important right now. What is important for me to edit this and get this on the net tonight? Like, I, this is number one. Basically, in a, in a nutshell, and you're going to hear everything that I'm telling you right now, I will say to this individual. What they were doing, well, let me just let this play for you and begin. I can help you. Okay, and do your ID? touch it for you? Um, it hasn't been used by any person. So where did you buy this product right here? This, this one? Mm -hmm. And you're blowing the cloud into... So what's the purpose of it? This is scientific purposes for the lab. So the people that are all doing this don't have don't have the experience to figure out why the product doesn't work anymore? You, mean? you, you have to understand from my position as a business owner, right. for someone to bring in a product that we didn't sell them, right. that tells me that they're working for, or not working, uh, testing, so to speak, for scientific reasons about a product that with all the knowledge that you have there to test for science. So then how is it being blown into a tube if nobody vapes? Right. So. Someone has to be blowing it into a tube, no? Press the button with the tube over it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even emit a lot of smoke. And it mm -hmm. leaks out of the airflow. So nobody vapes to figure out why it's leaking. I changed the coil today. I cleaned it. There's extra parts in here that I don't even know if they belong in here. Yeah, I mean, there's, okay, so there's a USB in there. Yeah, that's to charge it. And sure. And there's, like, rings in here that I don't know if there's spare parts. Yeah. I just joined this last two weeks ago, and they've been doing testing on this, and 
What is the testing for? If you don't mind me asking, like, what are they trying to find out? It's a, chemicals in it. Yeah, chemicals. Because Rutgers is very anti-baking. Like Correct. they, you, you guys hate baking. Correct. So you have to understand my my uh, position here as someone that promotes vaping to help. Uh, a university out that despises us. It's very right, difficult. so they're just testing for like heavy metals mm -hmm. because there's preliminary data coming out sure. of the crap with sure. fuel and stuff. Sure. Sure. Yep. So this lab is a neuropsychology lab that focuses on the brain and smells. Okay. So that's why he took up this project. Okay. But we just can't figure it. We just need to make this work. See, here's the issue: is with the way that FDA looks at it, is if I touch your product, I'm considered a manufacturer. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I could attempt to, yeah. What happens when you press the button five times? Oh. When I press the button for like eight to ten seconds, it stops. That's like normal. Smoke, That's normal. It's so it's when I press okay, the button so for like eight to ten seconds, it stops. That's like normal. Emitting smoke, That's but normal. it's leaking out of the air port. Okay, so. And it's using up too much of this fluid. It's burning too much, like too fast. Okay. And I assume because it's coming out. So I suppose so, it's okay. Right, so I'm going to tell you what's happening. So the way the way that the physics of the coil is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's so weird me helping out a, a <laughs> it's just strange for me because it's like you guys hate vaping. I smoke a pen and people don't want this. No, yeah, you you probably smoke enough inside like, yeah. exactly. right. <laughs> right. Whatever. Okay, so what what's happening here is because you're not actually inhaling and you're just you're, like you're saying, you're hooking the tube up to it and you're just kind of letting it emit it's not well not natural but a normal situation with vaping you're pulling air in and kind of heating the, the coils getting the, the, the air that you're pulling in and then it's it's emitting more vapor because you're bringing air into it sort of like a fire if you blow into yeah. it it'll ignite same type of deal with this if you're just pressing the button down just to fire it it's like putting up a piece of paper on an ash. It's not doing, there has to be something to suck, suck back, right? Otherwise, it's just going to kind of pull up on the coil because as much as you heat it up, it's not, it's just going to keep bringing juice to that coil and it's not going to do anything. So that's the problem because there's nothing actually inhaling the air that is coming out of it. Okay, so is that why it's Yes. It's all, it's all the coil. It has nothing to do with the device, has nothing to do with the tank. It's just the way that the coil is working. What are these extra pieces? Do they belong in the baby tank? Um, those extra pieces are to make that aesthetically look different. That bottom, top and bottom is to make them, I, I'm colorblind, but I'm assuming to make that match the, the pen oh. itself. Okay. That that has, that that yeah. is all in there. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. It's really all the coil. I so the machine that you guys are using to get the vape needs to be sucking air out of it to make that not leak. Okay, and now what's the difference if I open and close this air then? If you open and close the air, well if you close it, what's going to happen is, uh, does the machine suck air back? So or there's no machine, it's just a little tube, like a, have you seen a test tube before? Yes. So I just put the test tube kind of like upside down, yeah. like that, because sure. every time I suck this, uh... it leaks. I pressed the button. I thought you meant like a tube that's hooked up to a machine. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Yeah, because now if you close it, what's going to happen? Well, you have to put the juice in there. Right. See, the way that these products work is it, air needs to come into it. Without giving it any air, I don't even know. I, I feel like there's going to be too much inconsistencies with your, with your uh, testing. You know, so and I, I'm not trying to... We need the vape pod to recondense. That's basically all we're doing. Because we can't take the straight vape fluid and do what we need to do with it. We need, because it needs to pass through the heating filament parts. See, here's the problem, though. If, okay, so if, and you have to do it with juice in it, because what's imperative, like they've done tests like what you're doing before, and usually they'll continue to heat it up, hoping, like what you're saying, that, that it will produce the, the results you're looking for. But because you're just essentially burning the wire and there is no air coming off of it, you're actually going to get the air coming off of it. You're actually going to get more metals to show up, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because now you're burning the metal and there's nothing going in to cool it down. Okay. So you... Oh, that is tough. I have 
no, I have no idea how you would get it. The, the results you want just by just by firing it. There has to be air. Um, if, if you close it off, it will stop it from two because then it's it's all yeah right. So so you need it. So you you essentially need something like this, like what I'm about ready to do. You need to do, just be able to do this. That's what it does. You need more. I guess more to make it go faster. <laughs> so that if you okay, I, all right, I'm going to give you an answer. I'm going to give you an answer. As much as I hate giving you this answer, since you don't want to inhale it, right? Okay, so here's the best way to do it. Instead of so, like if I vape, right? So I would I would put my lips on, I would pull in the air from the side, mm -hmm. and then I would come my mouth and I'll blow out, right? Which is what you want out of this, but you don't want any human, yeah. right? So what you could do is so right here on the side where the air is leaking, mm -hmm. right? You would put your juice in it. Mm -hmm. This would kind of act the same way, but in reverse. So instead of you inhaling here, you blow out. So. That will give you all of what you need, and you don't ever have to. Can I leave that wide open? Yes, yeah, so you would just put your, so this way you're not inhaling anything, you know, so it has nothing to do with that. And the fluid wouldn't come back out? No, nope. Nope, yeah, because you're, you're essentially doing the same thing, but in reverse. Instead of you inhaling, you're blowing the air that you would be pulling by sucking. So that would, I mean, that was a lot of vape, so that, yeah. I mean, you could do that. And it would still suck the juice and it would still work as normal it's just that you're not getting anything out yeah you're not getting anything out of it it's just going into the tube it's worth a shot otherwise we need to figure out what to do next yeah i mean that that is the only thing that would be causing this because there's no air going through it it's just kind of sitting there right. yeah. and they pretty much all vapes act the same every uh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah all of Yes, yes, they, they're all, tip, if you're referring to, like, vape coming out, yeah, they all do the same thing. It's just, the t the style of the tank would be different. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, yeah. Sure. Why are they so anti it? Why? I don't know. I just need it for credits. <laughs> That's probably I why I helped you because I know what it's like as the education it's side. Not what I want to do. I want to work. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you gotta get your foot in the door some way. Yeah, I mean that's really the only thing. Is, why not? Okay, so if they don't want to put your put your mouth on it, right? If they don't want to touch the vape, they want to. Mm -hmm. Why not use something that pushes air in it? Why not use, you know, like a. Yeah, not don't use CO, don't use like Freon, you know, but use something that just pushes air through it. It's the same thing. And if if, if that doesn't, God, I'm giving you so many answers, but. I'm going to put you on my publication if I get one. <laughs> don't put it. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. But what you could do too is if, if, if that, but like if you can't, if they don't want to put their mouth on it, whatever, what, if you do use some type of mechanism to blow air into it, you can essentially put your finger on one side because the air is just going to fuck right into the air. Yeah, so you put your air on the finger on one now side. Now you heard what she was saying. So it, it's a little odd and a little peculiar that this little number is we're testing for the metals and metallic objects. Now they're just testing for like heavy metals. You heard it, right? And there it is again. For like heavy metals. And one more time. Testing for like heavy metals. Very good. So... Okay, you can't, oh man, there are so many things wrong with this. If you have a device and you're trying to test for the metal objects, this sounds very familiar to the situation when they were just pressing down a thing at 13 volts and getting random chemicals because they were burning the metal. That's exactly what they were doing here. I never thought I would see the day where they would come into me knowing that I, well, they don't know that I have a YouTube, but they're about ready to find out in a big way. Uh, but they, how do I work this? How do you have people working in a lab trying to get scientific information and you don't even know how to use the product? Oh my God. Yo, come on. And you're a school?
Oh! What? Now, I hope, I hope old girl doesn't get in trouble. You know, I hope she doesn't. But you walked into the wrong vape shop. If you're going to try and burn the industry down and do all these tests, and Rutgers always puts out negative stuff for vaping. Always. Well, then I'm not even going to put any negative information out. You put it out there. You said it. I just... And I, I, something inside of me said, Jay, do not continue this, but you know what? Do it. Because they're already banning it in New Jersey. It doesn't, if, if anything, this helps out advocacy or, or, or uh, instrumental things in, in the vape industry for an argument of you're not even testing correctly. Like she had a little Rutgers jacket on. I, I didn't ask for an ID. I don't think you get those when you, I mean, I didn't get one when I went to college. You, you might get like a little clip on jammy with a pocket protector and a pen with six inks. You might get that. I don't know. But I'm just telling you the fact that they're testing it and they don't know what to do because it's leaking. And I have to break it down for you how to get airflow in it. I get it. You know, she's learning. She's young. I get it. Uh, but you heard her. She doesn't even want to work in this field. I want to work with dead people. <laughs> All right. I, 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 okay. You know, someone's got to do it. I heard morticians make that funny money. No pun intended. So there you go. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what more you could ask for aside from, wow. You're just going to fire it with no air and expect results. And the results that you do get are going to be skewed. And then you don't even want to put your lips or your fingers on it. You can't tell me that there's not someone, someone in that lab. And you, you heard her though. What did she say? I use the other type of pen. Oh, shit. You just burned your own bridge. Ouch! Well, do I really need the ending? I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out.